All right, hello everyone. Um, there have been a bunch of questions about how to get the wheels onto, um, onto the car, and it really is a very tricky thing. Um, so I've done a little research of my own and experimented. This is a car that I messed up a little bit on, but um, what you can see here is that it cracks. And the reason it cracks is because the nail uh, is thicker than um, the cutout that they give you. So you go and you bang it in and, it, and naturally it just cracks. So I kind of figured out a trick um, by doing some research. This, this car as it is, if it cracks, it'll still work because the axle is still in there. So if your car does crack, as long as the wheels um, are even and the car um, rolls relatively nicely, when I collect the cars before the race, I'm gonna glue the axles in. So that is perfectly fine. So just as a reminder, I'm gonna collect the cars the week before the race, so that's May 25th, they're due. Um, and I will check all the wheels, glue the axles, and also um, lubricate them. So please don't apply any lubrication to the wheels. So that's, this is the car that I did that, um, <clears throat> you know, is not, is not great, but um, I was experimenting. So here's the, um, another car. Um, and I want to show you the trick that I figured out to make these wheels go in super, super easy. And you could see it's nice and even, and I didn't break anything. Um, so first thing you need, um, I got, I have a little screwdriver here. Um, if you don't have a screwdriver, you can also get a really small bit. I think it's size, uh, number 44 bit. Um, you don't want it too big because if the bit is too big, um, this is gonna, this is gonna wobble. So here's the nail that we're using, so you can kind of tell if it's gonna be too big just by comparing um, the width on it. So just make sure you don't use anything that's bigger than the nail itself. You still want the nail to go in snug. So here's what I did. I found something flat, and this is, a, um, this is just a common um, scraper tool. So if you, you can find something flat and preferably metal or hard, um, and hold it up against the car like that. Put the put the um, drill bit, or if you have one of these mini screwdrivers, um, I had a lot of kids' toys here, so they all come with these little screwdrivers, or many of them do. And I pushed it in nice and evenly, and then I just pounded on it just lightly, just to make just to make a nice little hole to start. And hopefully I did that enough, but we'll find out. So then you take the um, axle, put it through the wheel, and then push it in as much as it'll go by hand, so you don't need to drill and or uh, hammer, and make sure it's even. Um, you can adjust it a little bit once it's in, just to make sure it's even. Okay, now that it's even, I'm going to put this up against there, and this is just to stop the nail from naturally coming out of the pushing out of the crack. Um, but you're probably more handy than me, in which case you can nail straighter than I can, so that might not even be an issue. But now I'm just going to gently, gently, gently nail it in. Check it. It's going in mostly even. It's not 100% even. So what I can do if that happens uh, to you, this is about how much give you want. Um, so that the wheel moves freely. But you can see it is a little angle that's sticking up just a little bit. Um, what I did with the last car is I just put a tool there and banged it down just a little bit, bang, bang the end of the axle down just a little bit, and that, and that makes it nice and flush um, there, like that. So um, I did the first wheel. So now we have two wheels done and we have two more to go, and the problem you're gonna run into is you're gonna to have to flip it this way to do the other two. And by doing that, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on these guys since you're nailing. So I just took a uh, deck of cards, put it down like this. Again, if you have like a, if you're a handy uh, person and you have a, a whole workshop set up, you'll, you'll have something like a clamp or something to help you do this. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. This one's much softer because uh, pine wood is a very soft wood. So you might not even need to hammer it. I don't even need to hammer this. This is really, really soft. So I just poked my hole. My axle. I'm going to slide it in. Wow, I don't even really... I'm going to hammer the end of it. But I got... And you can see about more than halfway in. So that's a little bit... A little bit loose. So just do a little more. 
more, and that's exactly what I wanted. So now it's nice and even, um, and it's in there. This one still needs to be banged down a little bit, but that's no big deal. You could do that after. Um, so now I'm on a good roll. Again, I'm using the deck of cards just to support the wheels so that I don't put pressure um, on the wheels when I'm hammering in. And you want me to do it this way? So now I'm gonna poke another hole. This side, the wood is a little harder. With pine wood, it, it really varies. Some of the wood is hard, some of it's not. Um, so I'm gonna hold this and do the best I can. It's a little trickier here. Can you put your hand right here? Hold that down. Sometimes you need an assistant. Might have done that a little uneven, but we'll see. So it definitely helps. Hopefully you have a screwdriver, um, like, the, you know, a small screwdriver or something to poke it with, um, or a really small drill bit. If you don't, I just want everyone to know that I am happy to help put the wheels on for you, but this one is not going in quite as clean. Um, but you do have to bring them to me, uh, uh, give me a solid week. Can you hold that? Um, give me a solid week to do it um, so that I can have it prepped because I have to do everyone else's, um, you know, gluing and um, gluing and lubricating before the race. So this one you could see is, complete, is, is completely uneven. So it went in at an angle. Um, again, not a hard fix. You just have to put a tool there. And bang the end of it in there it does you know it does break the wood a little bit but it really doesn't matter because um, it pushes it in which is exactly what you want and now I'll be able to glue that and that will not go anywhere so let me just you can see the nail sticking out I'm just gonna do a little more okay and if you do it too tight and the wheel is not moving very well just gently 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 but firmly pull it out um, until you have it nice and even. Um, obviously the best you can. This is really smooth. This was really, really easy. This took me, however long this video is, this one took me like a half hour. So, um, but I also, with this one, I just nailed it in without the help of a guide, which I was using this as a guide and without the help of a hole punch or a drill bit. So, um, I definitely recommend that approach. Again, if you need any help, please text me, let me know. Absolutely happy to do the wheels for you. Thank you, everyone.